and welcome. In this session, I would like to introduce the CompuPlast Virtual Extrusion Laboratory Spiral Die Module. And that module is right here. Uh, before I get into the module, I'd just like to describe a little bit the geometry that we're talking about. Uh, here is a photo of a spiral mandrel. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, there are helical grooves cut in the surface of this cylinder. And um, these holes are the, the ports or feed channels that provide the polymer uh, to the spirals. And there is a, a, a hole usually down the center which connects to an adapter to the extruder which brings the material into the die. It uh, flows out to the spiral channels through these ports and then it flows around the, um, the spirals uh, gradually leaking out until the uh, spiral channel ends at zero depth here. These are commonly used in the production of blown film, but have also been very successfully applied to the production of um, tubing or pipe, and even for uh, blow molding applications. Um, this image shows the spiral mandrel along with the die body, which would fit over top of the mandrel, which would create an annular flow channel and control the leakage of the material out of the, out of the uh, mandrel. And here we have some dimensions that we are going to use to um, simulate this die. Like I said, we have an input, the bottom center typically, and that flows out to the ports. And as the material flows along the channels, it gradually leaks out. And if everything is designed properly, we will have a uniform annular flow here at the exit. So if we go to the spiral um, die module here, and we click New, and we say um, four inch. Open, and we can begin entering the, the dimensions. Now we can view the geometry either in a drawing, which shows a continuous depth profile of the channel, or as a sketch, which actually shows the channels. Uh, now we have the default parameter, so things don't look um, exactly proper. Uh, but that'll that'll improve as we add more details. So first we have the feeding system, which is going to be done with um, essentially pipes. And now we're going to define the pipes. Um, so we need the four inlets, and we're going to add also an adapter. So the the inlet, which is one pipe, will be let's say 20 inch long adapter, and it'll have a diameter of say one inch. And then the um, ports, which go from the center of the die out. Since it's a four inch die, the maximum length would be two inch radial length, and they'll have a diameter of 0.5 inches to match the ports. Next, we move to the spiral distributor, and we're going to specify that it's four inches in diameter. Now, it's not going to be conical, so we're going to specify four inches there. And it's three inches high. There's the height. And there's going to be four overlaps. In other words, because there are four spirals, the spirals will travel um, over top of all four of them. That means 360 degrees. So we specified the main information about the distributor. The body, which is the outer component, we see in the drawing here, this section here is the body. Again, we're axisymmetric, so we're only looking at um, uh, one uh, side here of the channel. Uh, the body's going to have a straight up geometry, four inches at the bottom, uh, four inch ID at the top, and uh, no taper. The mandrel, on the other hand, as we saw in the um, image here, is supposed to have an initial gap of 50 thou and a final gap of 150 thou. So when we go back here, we specify in the mandrel the initial gap 0 0.050, and a final value of 0 0.150. So we can see that the um, gap is tapering, and we have some um, graphical issue here with the uh, channel depth. So we need to adjust the channel depth, of course. So we go to the channel, we're going to specify a radius of the channel 0 0.25. That will make it half inch wide. The sketch will probably show a little bit better here. And um, we want to ensure that the um, position where it runs out is actually on the surface of the mandrel, which is, uh, of course, tapered. 
But what we can do is we can simply check this box down here, and you'll see that the um, channel end will follow the mandrel surface, and we'll have a uh, final um, distance from the um, uh, body of 150 thou. Now, the initial channel depth, we said, was 0 0.50 inches. So we've defined now the channel, as you can see here. Um, now, what we have left is the section above. Now, there's a small section, which we will make also four inches straight, and we will keep it at a uh, gap of 150. So it's just a small section. We'll define it with a length of, um, oh, let's say 0 0.25, so a quarter inch long and 150 gap. Now, after the spiral region, there is typically a relaxation chamber in die lip, which sizes the polymer prior to exiting the die. Um, for now, we will just work on the spiral distribution section to make sure that the distribution in this region is proper, and then we will add the post spiral sections above the mandrel.